I wholeheartedly believe that our number one job as human beings here on planet Earth is to become the best versions of ourselves, to understand who we are, why we are here, and what it is that we need to do in order to fulfill our destiny. This isn't something that I've known for a long time, if I'm going to be honest. This is something that within the last three to four years that I've come to understand and like I said before, wholeheartedly believe. And the reason being is because there was a time where I really was not my highest self. I was vibrating on a very low frequency and honestly, I didn't even know that. But the moment that I fully realized that I could have more in life and that I should have more in life, that I should be more in life, is when I decided to do something to change my circumstances. Reinventing myself was more about what was going on inside of me, more than what was going on outside of me. However, once I began to change my mindset, my surroundings began to change as well. There's a quote, and I'm not 100% sure who it is accredited to, but I recall hearing Will Smith say something along these lines. And he says in so many words that we can't control what cards we've been dealt, but we can control how we react to them and how we choose to play the game. I didn't know this consciously back then, but subconsciously, like I said, I knew that I didn't have to settle for what I had been subjected to. The first part of what I'm calling my rebirth, I focused a lot on self-love and my spiritual practices. I had been in so many toxic and unhealthy relationships before, both intimate relationships and just friendships as well, that I had lost myself in those people. I found myself spending more time with others than I did with myself, and this took away from me fully understanding who I was and knowing my worth. Because I wanted to please others so much, I left very little room to please myself, and as crazy as it may seem, it's true. It's so real. So I began to isolate myself from those who made me feel uneasy or uncertain. I stopped going to those places that didn't make me feel good once I left. I started to read and journal again, writing out my feelings and processing them without having to worry about someone judging them. I began practicing meditation to help quiet the noise in my head. <laughs> because y'all, the negative self-talk was insane at that time. I was so insecure, I couldn't stand the way I looked. I couldn't stand the way I talked. I talked to myself so badly, it was crazy. So being introduced to meditation gave me the ability to put that negative Nancy in her place once and for all. I started indulging in self-care practices, I'm talking head to toe honey, which was something I never really did intentionally before. See, I'm a simple kind of girl so there's not much that I need in order to feel fulfilled. All the glitz and glamour, you know, that, that really isn't me, but I didn't realize that practicing self-care was the thing that I needed most. So I started doing my hair masks, facials, body scrubs, manis and petties, right from the comfort of my crib because I needed to know that I could love on me before expecting someone else to do it for me. So I also started reciting affirmations and staring at myself in the mirror, giving myself that space to be one with me, to love me, to look myself in the eyes. and. That helped to create a new love for myself that I could never let go of now. I got back into health and fitness. I was always an athlete, but I had let that part of my life fall on the back burner after having kids. So when I realized that one, fitness is a form of self-care, and two, I could build the body that I deserve to have, I started to do my research. I got a personal trainer, and honey, I got two birds. The results have been so grand from all of these things. I created routines to help me get out of the darkest moments of my life. And I also created boundaries to help me maintain those routines. I had to release the fear of letting go of my past and moving into my future in order to fully reap the benefits of the new practices that I was putting into place. And quite honestly, I think it was just that that propelled me to my future self. Don't get me wrong, nothing about it was easy, okay? When you're trying something new, when you're building new habits and breaking old ones, it should be hard. It should seem like you're tearing your life apart. But 
if it's for your common good, do it, no matter how hard it may seem. Because on the other side of all that struggle, pain, insecurity, fear, and uncertainty is a new you that is waiting to embrace you and show you what can be possible for you. So I'll leave you with this. If you feel like you're at a place in life that is causing you more harm than good and you have a desire to change it, you've been thinking about it constantly, but you haven't really done anything to fix it, I want you to say this to yourself right now. I am worthy of the life that I desire. I am capable of becoming who I want to be. I release all fear, doubt, stagnation, procrastination, and uncertainty. And I move with faith into a new, beautiful season of my life. Now that you have affirmed it, put some action behind it, whatever that may look like for you. Make the decision today to reinvent yourself and become the best version of yourself. Much love, Queen. Be blessed.